guys what is up and welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be doing a walk around of a 2021 polaris 850 high lifter and guys i know what you're thinking you're like man why a high lifter you just got a ranger well guys you could always use a four-wheeler i mean just saying i'm looking at the 22 model but let's go ahead and jump into this uh walk around of the 21 850 uh high lifter so basically we're at interstate 69 motorsports in union city tennessee guys this is the best place to get one i promise you you're going to get the best deal i mean they're going to beat other dealers by thousands i can promise you that i, I checked around i looked around this is the best place to get one but guys without further ado let's jump into it all right guys so let's go ahead and talk about this 2021 high lifter so let's talk about what makes this bad boy a high lifter model so this is not your typical 850 sportsman uh, this high lifter is actually going to come with 30 inch outlaw 30 by nine and a half inch outlaw two tires and so that's uh, something a little bit different past years normal years have had the 29 and a half it also comes with the arched a-arms front and rear as you can see you get 13.5 inches of ground clearance uh, with these high clearance a-arms and it's something that uh, the normal sportsmen are starting to do but they don't have near as much clearance all right guys moving on to the suspension setup so this suspension setup for the high lifter has actually been modified to be able to carry the weight of having the four wheeler covered in mud uh so it's actually a little bit stiffer suspension when we look at the differentials they have drain plugs and fill holes that are easier to get to um, the upgraded suspension can be adjusted for softer and stiffer settings and when we move on to the high lifter aspect of it we get to see if the rad relocation and cooling fans are actually mounted up high and dry as well as a snorkel setup so this allows you to go in deep water and deep mud and not have to worry as much about the radiator getting filled up and overheating the rad kit also draws in air from the bottom uh, with the two fans two cooling fans that draw air in and push air out the sides the voltage regulator also is up high as well as coming with a battery tender the battery is mounted in a higher location in front of the frame and this high lifter comes with a 78 horsepower polaris dual cylinder engine the high lifter is an extremely bad machine it looks awesome it looks great it has plenty of clearance guys if you are looking into getting into the mud you can take this machine right off the showroom floor and do it um, it definitely has more than enough power you will ever need it looks great while doing it and it's going to perform and be one hell of a machine when you get it in the mud all right guys this comes with a traditional straight line shifter like what we're used to in a polaris the high lifter actually uh, the motor is turned sideways so the belt box is actually in the very back of the four wheeler and you probably have to remove the tire to get to and i think that's the same on most of the high or most of the a50s or 1000 models but guys let me just say everything seems to be high and dry on these things it seems to be thought about where stuff needs to be for a mud oriented foiler and guys i don't think you'll have a single issue in going through any deep mud or deep water with the same definitely just take your precautions to high electric grease all the electrical connections uh, this foiler does come with the emergency brake in the floorboard and it has true on demand all-wheel drive so what that means is as soon as the switch hits, all four wheels are going to pull and they sense just the tiniest bit of slip in any tire. Alright guys, that concludes our walk around of the 2021 850 High Lifter. So guys, go ahead and drop in the comments if you guys are interested in this four wheeler or if you guys uh, like the High Lifters. I know there's a lot of hate between them, but guys, let's, let's make sure there's a lot of love on these bad boys too because they deserve it. They are definitely true uh, bad machines. And guys, drop them down in the comments. Me and I-69 are definitely going to be keeping a watch on them because, uh, guys, we want to see this before we move on out. Uh, catch you guys later, and peace. Thanks for watching.